My name is Grant Davis. I'm a London cab driver and I've driven a black cab in London for 29 years and I love it. If you went to a job centre and you said to them, I want a job where I start when I like, finish when I like, uh, overtime when I like, as many tea breaks as I like, go on holiday when I like, um, they say, well, them jobs don't exist anymore. And they don't, theoretically, because um, I always dream of winning that lottery ticket, right? And uh, I drive around the back of Hampstead Heath and some of those roads and some of those houses are absolutely fantastic. You could be 100 years back in, in, in Somerset. You've got these lovely little stone cottages next to the heath. You wouldn't believe you're in London in 2016. And for me, if I had the money, that's where I would live. I'd scare the neighbours to death. Because all of a sudden, in between all those merchant bankers and actors, I'd be able to park my cab. Imagine that on the Sunday, washing the cab and polishing the cab up. Be fantastic, wouldn't it? House prices have dropped by about 20%. We're our own people, we're free speakers, free thinkers, uh, which sometimes get us into trouble. Uh, no one can control us. And you find people that have come into driving a black cab have come from jobs where they've had a boss or a manager and it's very strict, uh, quite a strict regime in an office and they just think, oh my God, you know, I just don't want to be in this office anymore. I want to be my own man. And I used to work uh, whilst at school. I, I started when I was about 13 on a fruit stall in Brixton Market, Electric Avenue. And I sold fruit and veg on a stall for about seven years. Yeah, yeah I was in Brick. I was living in Brixton during all the riots. I always remember on that Saturday night, we was all playing out on the ads in the state and we could see the smoke and we all walked out and we all sort of walked and ran down there and all the big SPG transit vans were flying past us and it was all on fire and the police, you know, we thought, cool, blimey, let's get home, I don't want this. And uh, so, yeah, I've seen Brixton really change. I was born in Lambeth Walk, just off of Lambeth Bridge. My mum never made it to the hospital, she keeps telling me every birthday. And I was born at home in Lambeth Walk. And um, I'm probably... When I die, they'll probably stuff me and put me in a museum because I'd be one of the last ever Londoners, I suppose. But saying that, I couldn't live out of London. The whole buzz of London, the it's so easy to do stuff. For me, personally, it, it's just the greatest job I could ever have, and I love it. And you find with cab drivers, you're almost pseudo-ambassadors for London. I'll get people in and they want to know what's that building, how long that air, where's this, where's a good place to eat, what could you recommend, when does that go, where do I get the riverboat from, where's the best museum. It's all those little questions and, and as a cab driver who's, who's done the knowledge, you've got that up there in, in your own nut to, um, to be like a, a London ambassador and, and it's just, I know I speak to a lot of cabbies uh, and, and for them as well, it, it's a really enjoying part of the job. What I quite enjoy getting sort of just normal Londoners really, because everyone's got an opinion on London, whether it's the traffic, politics, the GLA, Brexit. I mean, everything is up for grabs. And surprisingly, you know, some of the mainstream media think that all cab drivers live in Essex Married to a lady called Tracy, tattoos, got a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Well, unfortunately, that's wrong. And, and you get a lot of guys like myself who can have a proper conversation, who read the Times and proper papers, you know, and uh, you can have a nice informed discussion with, with the people in the back about politics, about Brexit, about Jose Mourinho going to Man United. It is really, it can be that varied, you know, and, it, and it's great. Passes the time. Fantastic, really good. They do say taxi drivers and barbers could rule the world. I think I could do a better job. On the 30th of November, I'm taking um, Jenny Jones out from the Green Party. She's coming out in my taxi and um, 
she's got a handheld polluter device, pollution reading device. And we are going to go out and we are going to measure pollution in London from this taxi. Uh, and we're going to just see how bad the pollution is for Londoners all over London in all the hot spots. So I'll let you know. That'll be interesting. Who would have thought cab drivers would be working with the Green Party, eh? Just shows you, doesn't it? Just shows you, doesn't it? People go, oh, all them cab drivers, all bloody UKIP. That's what they are, UKIP. Well, funny you say that. No, I'm not. Well, I, well, I find as I get older, I'm becoming more socialist in my views. I mean, it's a funny old thing, that. I never thought I'd be saying that, but I, I actually do feel that at the moment, yeah? Well, it's something in the water. But, I mean, we're going through uh, funny old times, aren't we? you got Trump and Clinton, my God. The misfits. And, and then we've had all this with Brexit and everything. So, I think the world's a mess politically, so... Who knows where we're going to be this time next year? <laughs> right, you can pull up anywhere. Are you sure? Yeah, that's perfect. I'm Thank you very much. My pleasure.